name is Chantel, and I'm here to share a message of hope. I hope you're having a great week. I hope you're having a great day. I'm just happy that you're here with me. So um, have you been feeling tired? Have you been feeling exhausted? Have you been feeling burnt out? Have you been feeling like you've been doing the same repetitive thing and not getting any results? Um, if you look in uh, Galatians 6, 9, it says, And let us not grow weary while doing good, for in due season we shall reap if we do not lose heart. And then you look over in uh, 1 Corinthians 15, 58. It says, Therefore, my beloved brethren, be steadfast, immovable, always abounding in the works of the Lord, knowing that your labor is not in vain in the Lord. So it could feel like we're pressing in, pressing in, pressing in, and things aren't happening, right? And then one thing that you got to remember is that uh, there's things that will try and distract you, try and throw you off, try and discourage you, right? And then sometimes there's people in our lives that let us down and they do things that really hurt. And then, you know, you'll be sitting in no fence or something. But if we keep our mind focused on what we're doing this for, right? And, and if we go to the throne room when we're feeling tired, I don't know about you, but when I'm feeling exhausted, when I'm feeling beat down, when I'm feeling just like, oh, and I get into prayer, I always feel better. And it's important to stay in that prayer time. It's important to stay in the word of God because these are the things that fuel us. These are the things that make us spiritually strong. And we got to remember what we're doing this for, right? Where, why am I sharing the good word? Why am I sharing the gospel and all of these things? Because I love Jesus. And I know that if he changed my life, he can change anybody's life. And it's not about a religion. It's about a relationship, a true, genuine relationship where God loves you and he cares about you and he's interested in you and you're important to him because he's created you and he wants to fellowship with you. He wants to uh, remove the things of the world that will keep you down, that will keep you hindered, will keep you uh, depressed and frustrated and all of those things. God wants to remove those things out of your life so he can fill them with things for of his will for your life. And he loves you. God is rooting for you. He is fighting for you. He is covering you. He cares about you. And if you're feeling exhausted and drained, when's the last time you sat and you've just said, okay, Lord God, fill me with strength. We are running a race here. We need endurance. Our strength comes from the Lord. Our faith comes from the Lord and all of those things. And I know without a shadow of a doubt in my mind that no matter what we are going through, we can go to God and get refueled because God wants a tangible, real life relationship with you. And we have this burden for souls, right? I want to see everybody walking in um, victory through the Lord. And so you know, and your prayers are not always going to get answered and they're not always going to get answered right or right away. I'm sorry, because God knows better than we do. You could be praying something that could totally take your life in a direction that would not be where you wanted it to be. And God knows that he knows what's best for us. So it's not in that mindset of, oh, well, you know, what's the point of praying because it's not happening. No, you're standing on that word. Okay, Lord, I want this, but I want your will more than that. So open the doors. And you know, another thing that will help is getting in a, a prayer group. I started a prayer group at my house and it is amazing it is so awesome and God is moving and we're there expecting every week and God is showing up and he's moving and so it's important to not feel like your your work and your labor is in vain right because as you stay on this path serving the Lord praying um having faith serving the Lord in joy right it will your all your stuff is not in vain in the Lord, but be steadfast, be um immovable, always abounding in the works of the Lord, knowing that your labor is not in vain, knowing that I'm doing this to glorify God, right? Everything that we're doing in our lives is to glorify God. So I just want to encourage you this week. If you are feeling tired, beat down, drained, if you're feeling like, oh, all this stuff that you're doing, you're not seeing things move. I just want to encourage you. And remind you to just continue to say, okay, God, I know your timing is perfect. And praise the Lord, you know, and spend some time in his presence, getting filled, getting renewed, maybe asking God, where, what's the next direction? What's the next step, you know, and be in fellowship constant, constantly 
with the Lord because like I said, there's there, you know, we're in a spiritual battle and there's things in the world that um, don't want you to succeed, don't want you to prosper, want to wear you down, want to distract you, want to put these negative thoughts in your head, right? But you have victory. You have victory in Christ Jesus. So I just want to pray with you. I want you to pray with me. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, Lord God, we come before you, Father, and we ask, we ask, Lord God, that you just fill us with strength, strength, Lord, that you fill us with peace right now, Lord God. I pray, Father, um, for more revelation, Lord God. I pray for multiplication of rest, Father, and we just bind and break anything, anything that is working against us, any strongholds, I bind them and I break them now in the name of Jesus. And I thank you, Lord God, that we are strengthened in you, God, that no weapon formed against us will prosper, that we are going to continue to break ground, Lord God, that we are going to continue to walk this race with endurance and be an immovable, uh, unmovable, unwavable, steadfast in you, Lord God, because our strength comes from you, Lord God. So I just pray, Father, that you just fill us now, Lord. We love you. We praise you. We give you all the honor and glory, Father. We love you so much. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. All right. Well, I hope you guys have a great week. Um, and I just encourage you to press into the Lord and, and just let him renew you. Let him strength, strengthen you. All right. Well, I love you guys and I'll see you next Sunday. Take care.